Okay, so in round one, when you see a monkey on the left side of the screen, over here, you'll push this left arrow key. In the Phaja Lab, we study brain development in children with neurodevelopmental disorders, and we're very interested in how that development differs from children with typical development. My lab focuses on two different domains. We're interested in social skills, and we're also interested in executive function. And it turns out that those domains are actually pretty closely related. One of the most exciting things that we do in my lab is then use that research to develop and test treatments for children who have neurodevelopmental disorders such as autism. One of the ways that we're currently working with families to develop new interventions is the GAMES project. And in that project, we use computer games to help children with autism better their executive function skills. So these are the games that we're going to be looking at. So which ones do we want to play first? Robots and Windows. Robots and Windows, OK. Executive function is a set of skills that allow us to solve complex problems. And it involves things like being able to stop yourself or inhibit, being able to hold complex information in mind, and being able to be flexible or shift back and forth between two different strategies. Another project that we're doing currently uses biomarkers, and we're really interested in how those biomarkers might enable us to better test interventions for children with autism and potentially give us better information about how treatments are working. One of the ways that we measure how children's brains are working is through electroencephalography, which is a measure of how quickly your brain is responding to different kinds of information. Ready? Electroencephalography uses a net with sensors, and the sensors sit on the surface of your scalp. It's a non-invasive way to then measure the activity that your brain is generating. We're also measuring visual attention of kids, so how they're looking at things in their environment. My friend Julia is going to let us know if we need to move you closer or further away. One of the nice things about using eye tracking is we can see exactly what information they're focusing on or attending to in their social environment. And in particular for kids with autism, we're interested in how the brain responds to social information. Kids like our current projects because we really work hard to make the experience fun and we really try to make it rewarding for them so that they feel like they've accomplished something and helped other children. It was a really great experience. We saw that when he was um, getting upset with some of the daily situations of having to get dressed or playing with his brother, he would use some of the skills that he had learned, like stopping himself. I think it's a great opportunity for families with kids on the spectrum, just so you can see that your child is capable of learning um, certain things that sometimes are hard for these kids to learn. My son does have issues with executive functioning, and it's hard for him to organize himself. Parents of kids with autism worry about this, and if you can help your kid be functional and have a job and a successful future, that's worth more than anything. Gino, do you think that the games have helped you as well? Yes? Yeah. In what ways? Just because they were really fun, and I really liked it.